There are many terms associated with experimentation, and one question we often hear is what is server-side testing and why should I consider using it? During this short video, we'll try to explain the differences between client-side and server-side testing and which one is best for you. Client-side is the most common method. Here, when a URL request is made from a browser, the target web server returns a page which includes the optimized tag back to the client. The page it returns will not be visible for milliseconds, whilst the tag within the page requests a further inquiry, this time to the optimized server. Here, the visitor is evaluated, and dependent upon the experiments running on that page, the optimized server could potentially deliver instructions to display a different page experience back to the client browser. One thing to note is that with web terms optimized, there will be no perceived delay or page flicker experience with the client browser. This may not be the case with other solutions. Any data on actions taken on that page will be passed back to the optimized server for analysis and reporting. Server-side is less common, but gaining traction, especially within e-commerce retail sites. Just like a client-side test, a URL request is made by the client browser to the target web server. But this time, instead of passing the page back to the client browser, it directs a request to the optimized server to evaluate the visitor as before. This time, however, the optimized server passes instructions back to the web server and not the client. The web server then passes any page variations onto the client browser. As before, the client browser passes data back to the optimized server for analysis and reporting. So, let's try to understand the benefits of server-side over client-side. Firstly, performance is the primary reason, because any test changes are handled by the web server, so the page is delivered all at once. Many organizations want to implement experiments across protected services, such as checkout and payments. This cannot be done with client-side. The utilization of algorithms and pricing models can only be tested using server-side. Also, as personalization becomes more prevalent, any complex features can be more easily tested within the confines of a server-side environment. Server-side also coexists more easily with organizations that has a program of product releases. Client-side testing is by far the quickest way to implement testing when you first start out on experimentation. The initial implementation is faster to deploy as it only needs a small tag added to the top of each web page. There are no server code releases required at any point. The reason why client-side is so popular is the ease of use. With minimal training, experiments can be carried out by marketers rather than developers, although some coding experience will be beneficial. Because all the changes happen at the client and not at the web server, security risks are reduced. Cost is always a factor and client-side tests typically deliver a lower cost, both from an implementation perspective and on a per project basis. So, which environment should you use? Well, that depends. If you don't have developers, want a simple implementation and fast deployment, then client-side is probably your best option. Even if you do have in-house developers, you still may choose to use client-side based on cost. If your requirements are more complex and you do have in-house developers, you may choose to use server-side. If you're implementing experimentation for the first time, it's probably a good idea to begin with client-side, and as you mature in your testing programs, you may wish to migrate to server-side. With WebTrends Optimize, we deliver both client-side and server-side, so you can start your experimentation program knowing that whatever your future direction, we've got it covered.